Are you recording? Oh, yes, we are. Hooray! What is going on with my hair today? Hey there, Hopheads, and welcome to the shed. Even Star here with my good friend. And we're here with another beer review for you in the shed. And I would just like to start by saying that this is not the video I wanted to make, right? And when I show you the label of this beer, you'll understand why um, I've kind of disappointed myself because I really had ambitions for costumes and music and fancy editing. But uh, the fact of the matter is, um, time constraints and budget constraints kind of prevented me from making that particular video and by the time I was able to make that particular video um, this poor beer has been languishing in my uh, cellar quite long enough so I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna show you the label and, and then you might understand why um, I just could have done so much more here today right <laughs> Yes, today we have a beer I've been wanting to try for a very, very long time. It is Chalkwork Orange from Brentwood Brewery, and I will show you a close-up of the label. Um, as the name would suggest, um, you've got the iconic uh, poster image of Anthony Burgess's and Stanley Kubrick's um, Clockwork Orange. And I'd like to give you a little bit of history of this beer because I actually reached out to Brentwood, who are quite local to me, because I was very interested um, in the fact that um, they were, they've been allowed to use this image, um, very iconic image, very copyrighted image as well. Um, and they were kind enough to get back to me. Um, so a little bit of history of Chalkwork Orange is this started as an idea in um, a pub garden about 10 years ago. Um, a few friends were kicking around, you know, ideas for beer and, you know, kind of what they'd fancied, and they kind of fancied a chocolate and orange beer. Uh, so this is 10 years, this is like 10 years ago. This is, that was kind of before the explosion of putting weird stuff in your beer um, that we've seen in, uh, so, you know, sort of more modern craft beer movement. Um, and they do use chocolate and orange in the beer. So that was 10 years ago, and it was meant to be a one-off. Um, so they use this as a one-off thinking, you know what, no one will know, no one will care, right? Um, but the beer became extremely popular um, and they've been making it regularly for that amount of time. And it came to the attention of the Anthony Burgess Foundation. And rather than um, them making a fuss about it, they actually love the beer and if you go to the Brentwood uh, Brewery website it will actually say and it says actually on this um, label as well it is the official beer of um, the book Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess and it was made official by the actual <laughs> Anthony Burgess Foundation which I think is a really brilliant story of where you know, you have an organization that could get like really shitty about intellectual property, but instead embraces uh, a tribute. Um, so this beer um, is often available on a uh, tap or draft pump um, in my area. Unfortunately, I've just never had the opportunity to try it. So I was very excited when I went to um, my local fancy beer bottle shop that they actually had some of this in stock. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a dark beer, which I quite like, and with flavors of chocolate and orange. Um, very, very exciting. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Yes, you gotta do a little bit of work today, Tiki. There you go, there you go. Right, no harm done. There you go. All right. So right away, I can smell chocolateiness. I've got my fancy dark beer glass here today. I thought um, such a special beer deserved a special glass. It is indeed a very dark beer. Dark brown. 
dark brown. It's not like black like a stout. Um, quite effervescent coming out of the bottle. I don't know if I'm going to... Oh. 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 Yes. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a well-poured pint. Well, not quite a pint. Could have done with a little bit more hit on it. So I am getting a very uh, strong scent from it. Just um, they're sort of fruity, um, malty, sort of milk, chocolatey uh, scent. It smells, it smells delicious, actually. Mmm, mmm, yummy. As with any beer for me that um, uh, says chocolate on it, or it's, you know, chocolate's been used in the brewing, I'm always a little bit um, reticent that it's going to be really sweet. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of sweet beers, although I, I will have them on occasion when the occasion is appropriate. Um, but this isn't. This isn't really sweet at all. It is um, wonderfully malty. Very toasted. Very toasted malty. Um, uh, you do get a, a bitter chocolate rather than milk chocolate, so where you get that scent of um, milk chocolate, it actually turns out to be quite a bitter, almost coffee coffee flavor left in the mouth. Mm. It's starting to warm up a bit. So this beer's been in my fridge. Um, before I before I taste beers, I do tend to put them in the fridge because my house in the summertime is quite warm uh, and beer's not meant to be served like warm or room temperature. It's meant to be served at a cellar temperature and cellars are um, they're not as cold as a fridge, but they are cold. Um, and uh, when something's cold, it will tend to uh, mute the flavor a little bit. So this had this had really strong, bold, malty, chocolatey. I can still taste that coffee in my mouth. It's delicious. Um, the so the sweeter flavors. So the orange won't come out so much until it like warms up a bit, and it's starting to do that now. I am tasting some orange in there is again it's not hugely overwhelming it, it, you'd, you'd think um, you know it's sort of I, I think the name kind of does it a little bit of a disservice because I think someone might look at that and go oh that's gonna taste like a Terry's chocolate orange and the last thing you really want to do is drink a Terry's, Terry's chocolate orange at least I don't um, you know I'm not I'm not a big fan of like really sweet sweet milk chocolatey things um, although chocolate and orange do go together this is more like, if you've ever had it, um, a strip of candy's orange peel that's been dipped in a really bitter dark chocolate. So you have that um, very vibrant um, essential oil um, orangey brightness with that really bitter um, dark chocolatey taste. So it's not sweet, it's not like candy. Um, it's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying that. Definitely more chocolate than orange for me. I'm getting, um, again, it's got that really in your mouth afterwards, that a beautiful coffee, coffee flavor. Um, I could, yeah, I could definitely drink serious amounts of this. It's probably a good thing it's never been on in my local, um, cause at 6.5%, um, you know, you're not, <laughs> you might have a few too many pints before you kind of know where you are because it tastes so good. Um, so, um, there you go. I was really excited to try this. I was not disappointed. It is a delicious, delicious beer. Um, that is, uh, Chalkwork Orange, uh, the official beer of Clockwork Orange from the Brentwood Brewing Company. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like uh, beer reviews, uh, follow my channel. I'm trying to get out at least two per month. I'm hoping to get out one per week in the near future. Um, like I say, there's time and budget constraints there. Uh, the budget being mostly for fancy beer to try. However, you can follow me on Instagram at the beer in review where I give tasting notes on all of my craft beer adventures 
in the pub, so that's mostly British craft beer. And until next time, I'm Evenstar, and you've been watching the Beer in Review.